In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your layer slider. So to edit your layer slider, you're going to come into your WordPress dashboard and you're going to come over here down to the left and you're going to click on layer slider. Just to be clear, I want to show you what your layer slider is. So first, on your home page, if you're using the open floor plan theme, this is your layer slider. It's your slideshow on the home page. Your slideshow, each slideshow has three different elements. Uh, it has the photo, it has tagline one and tagline two. So photo, tagline one, tagline two. Actually it has four elements. You also have the link that it, when you click on it, the link that it goes to. So photo, tagline one, tagline two, and the link when you click on it. So you're gonna log in your dashboard and you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click on layer slider. Your layer slider should, there should only be one in here. So you're gonna click on it. And when you click on it, you're going to see it just like this. So slide one, slide two, three, and go through each of the slides here. And here is how you're going to edit the slides. I'm going to take you through editing one slide, and then you'll be able to see what we do, or how you edit it and how you update it. Now, first is going to be the graphic or the image. If you want to change the graphic, I use Photoshop to edit my graphics. The graphic should be an image that is 1,506 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall. So you'll want that to be 300 dpi. Make sure it's a high resolution photo, otherwise it won't look very good on your screen. So you can do one of two things. You can delete the image here and enter the URL or you can um, and upload it or you can choose from the media library. If you choose from the media library you're going to want to use one of the images that I've already uploaded and make sure that it is the proper height and width. So I'm going to, so I already deleted that image by clicking the X here and then I'm going to click to set. I'm in the media library so first I can upload my new image by selecting here from my computer one that I've already made that's 1506 width by 500 height 300 dpi or I can go to the media library and I can find the images that I've already created and you'll see again this one is 1506 by 500 you want to keep these uh, a lower um, size and the reason why is because this one for instance is one megabyte that's really large that being that large is going to mean that that photo is going to take um, up a lot of space and it's going to make it slower loading so you don't want it to be too huge so for instance when I'll show you how to do this here's Photoshop So here's a graphic. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to make a new graphic. It's going to be 1506 by 500, 300 resolution. Then I'm going to take this one and I will make the image size. Resolution 300, 1506, it's going to automatically be 847, so it automatically does that. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole image, I'll paste it into my new one. And then what I usually do is, once I get it centered about where I want it, I might just barely adjust it a little bit so that I get it where I want it to be and that's it so I'm going to go file save as then when I name the image
I'm going to create a PNG file and I'm going to name it for the keyword. So in this case, downtown LA Lofts. And I'm going to Now, it's a good idea to check out your image. And see how big it is. This is 1.6 megabytes. So that's a little bit large. So I will also go and save for web. And if I save it as a JPEG, it's 258. If I save it as a PNG, 1.35. So we're going to go back and we're going to save it as JPEG. So now I'm going to upload the file. Once I upload it, I want to make sure that this photo has three things, the title, alt text, and description. These things must be a good keyword. So downtown LA Lobster for sale is a great keyword. I'll go ahead and insert it. And now the photo is in here. Now if I want to edit the words here, I want to scroll down. This is just telling you which section you're editing. Editing it here will not change it here. So you have to click on the section here and then you have several different items. You have your text. If you were doing video, you'd be doing that. And if you're doing dynamic content here. So I'm going to do my text. So downtownlalofts.com, XYZ. Notice how as I'm typing, it's changing it up here. So if you want to change that, you're going to change it there. If you want to change the transition, this is a little bit more difficult and advanced. Um, you'll, this is where you change this. You may want to go to YouTube, change these items. They're not something I recommend that you um, play with automatically. I would definitely want you to be experienced to do this. The link, you're going to change right here, and you're going to change it right here. So there's two different places. This is going to change the link on the whole photo. This is going to change the link on this one item. And then your styles. So your styles are going to be the two main things, your color. So if you want to change the color of the background, that's the dark gray here. You can change it like this. It will save your most recent colors. So you can switch between them if you want to. The color of the font is right here. So if you want to change the color of the font to let's say a red, you could change that as well. And then you want to change the second item, change that right here. So you have your colors here. Again, it saves your most recent colors in here. When you're done, click Save Changes. And then it will automatically save. And then come to your home page, refresh, and check your work. Most importantly, if you want to go to the next one, you're going to come back and you're going to actually most importantly is to check your work. But then after that, you're going to come back and you're going to do slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, and so on and so forth. So to recap, the main photo is right here. The main URL for the main photo is right here. Tagline one is going to be this section. You have your content and you want to be under text. You have your link and attributes and you have your styles. Those are the main sections. Tagline two, that's this section right here. You have your content 
and under text right here. Then you have your link and attributes here and your styles here. And then make sure you save and refresh. And that is how you're going to make changes to the layer slider or slideshow on your homepage.